So here are three mistakes I see women making all the time as they're trying to create wealth. Mistake number one is spending money on things that don't give you an ROI, a return on investment. I see women all the time going, I don't have money to start a business. I don't have money to invest. Where am I gonna get the money from? But then I see them in Vegas on a girl's trip with their, <laughs> with their besties. Like, what the hell? If you don't have money, you need to be investing your money so your money can be making you money and stop spending your money on things that do not give you a return on your investment. That is like the key, right? You need to be investing your money and having your money make you money. Mistake number two, and boy, this one is so common, and I know things happen in life and I know things come up, but I see women start out with an investment, whether it's in their 401k, whether they're doing a Roth and they are um, starting to invest in the stock market, they get an index fund, whatever the investment is, right? They invest it, they get their return, so they get their investment back, plus the profit, and then they spend the money on something that doesn't give them a return on their investment. So it's gone. It's gone. Like literally, when you are investing, you gotta think for the long term. You're investing, so you want to keep turning that money over. We invest in real estate, me and 40 women who are my sharks, we invest in real estate all the time. As soon as that investment closes, and as soon as the deal closes and we get our money plus our profit, we throw it right back into another investment. We are not taking it to go on a trip to Tahiti or to rehab our kitchen right we are building wealth we are building generational wealth and it needs to compound in order for you to have something to look at right to have something that you can actually work with so don't spend your investment and the third one so common and you're not gonna like this one okay it is still hanging around the same people that you were before who are broke, struggling, living paycheck to paycheck, have a negative money mindset, trying to convince you not to do the things that you know you should be doing because it's scary to them and they don't understand it. You need to get rid of that circle of people and you need to surround yourself by like-minded people, like-minded women who are going in the direction that you wanna go, who have what you wanna have and you're sitting at the table with these kinds of people and you are going to get to your financial goal of wealth so much faster.